Miss Jennifer. I'm Matt Anderson. Before every shoot, I like to sit down and plan out everything that we've got going on. That way, we're not trying to figure out something to do. I already have not only what the broad strokes are, like, you know, what outfit we're doing, but also if there's specific images that I want to get to make sure that they're, um, that we get everything that we set out to do. So, uh, usually, model Polaroid, you know, you stand there and you smile. Okay. okay. Uh, then we'll do 21 frames, which is uh, um, basically it just runs through all these different facial expressions. It's just kind of a warm up exercise as well as a chance to kind of for us to get to know how we work with each other, how I work, you know, and then mm -hmm. how you work. Um, and shows me your facial range and stuff like that. So okay. that when, when I can call upon emotions, I can, you're like, eh, what? <laughs> okay, and then then what we'll do is we do the 44 more lanes, and then we have kind of I kind of have a set list here of poses that I particularly want to get to, okay. and those are going to be like two or three frames each of these. Okay. Um, and then first we'll start off in your casual wear, and then we'll move into the fitness wear, the okay. the, the leggings and the the sports mm -hmm. top. If you don't have a if the sports top you have is doesn't quite work, I've got tops that you can okay. use. Um, yeah, then you're a nice dress. And again, if you don't have a dress that, that works, I've got other dresses. Um, although, um, your, your build may be a little, it may be a little big on you. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and then, uh, then what, at the very end, after you do the dress picks, um, that's probably when you'll do your interview with Rose. Okay. Um, you know, because you'll be all dolled up and looking nice. Yeah. You know, like, we want to do <laughs> that at time. the end. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> then what we'll do is we'll do a couple of pictures of, with a film camera. Okay. Um, and the reason why is because I just got this, well, I got this a while back, but I have just started to use it. Mm -hmm. I have no idea what the pictures look like when they've been developed because oh. I've never developed a picture. So yeah. uh, I'm doing film and then seeing, you know, uh, doing the settings that I've been doing. And if they work out okay, then I'm going to, you know, maybe start doing maybe like 50 50 but okay. i gotta get through a roll first and yeah so so i do a couple of film pictures then i do a final polaroid uh, which where which i just have you sign just a little short message like thanks for a great shoot mm -hmm. or you know like you know you're the bomb or you suck or you know, <laughs> however you want to write it uh the final polaroid and then we'll the three of us well if she's still here we'll do a quickie Promotional selfie. Okay, that'd be awesome. Okay. <laughs> All right, so uh, do you need to get changed to your couch? Yeah. Spot. Okay. You can turn to the left, you can turn to the right, you can use your hands. You know, because like I said, it's from here up, so you can use your hands, you know, anywhere on your face, in your hair, on your chest, in your ears, up your nose, <laughs> whatever you want to do. You're not married to just straight on 
every single frame, okay? Yeah. All right, so the first one is one you're already at, happy. I'm going to chimp a little bit, I apologize, but um, I'm just paranoid. Okay. Hi, please introduce yourself. Hi, my name is Jessica. And what you're doing here today? I'm here with Matt Anderson Photography to do test shoots for his 44 Marlene project and to get more images for my portfolio. And how long have you been modeling? I've been modeling for a year and a half. And how did you get into modeling? I was always interested in fashion growing up and the final push for me was someone telling me I couldn't actually do like be a model. Um, it was just something out of reach for the area I lived in so I wanted to prove them wrong and show that anyone, um, if they're dedicated enough, can do whatever they want. What's one of the most exciting things that you've learned about or you've done since you've been modeling? Probably one of the most exciting things was the first time I got published. Just going into a store and picking out a magazine that you're in is a really great experience. What magazine was it? Ladies Fashion Magazine is based out of Pittsburgh. Wow, fantastic. <laughs> okay, uh, so you know, you said you got into modeling to prove somebody wrong as well as to um, do that. So how, if somebody is interested, sees you and is interested in becoming a model, what are the things they need to do? Well, I would definitely say do your research first. Um, it's a difficult industry to like, get into, but you definitely want to start building your portfolio, whether you're paying a great photographer to get some images, working towards trade for, and then don't get frustrated because eventually you can move to like, paid work. You just have to have a stunning portfolio first, and don't be afraid to like just message people. Like, No is not the worst thing that's going to happen to you. So just just put your foot forward and just keep going with it. Some doors will shut, but the right ones will open for you. Yeah, it's kind of, kind of cool. It's like, you think I'm cute? Yeah, it's like, okay. You think I'm, you think I'm pretty? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'll go. <with> go. <laughs> this might not be great, but. <laughs> hey, you know, that's the, that's the joy about this. Yeah. Yeah, no, but you were doing not being great. Wrong. <laughs> Wrong. So you only need one. A good one and boom. Yeah. You know. so, all right. Now, this is slightly different. Aggressive. Yeah. This is different. So, aggressive, like you, like, do you like Tom Hiddleston? Do you think he's sexy? <laughs> Loki? For the Avengers? Oh, okay. Wow. Somebody who doesn't know who he is. I say I say Loki, my daughter and my wife go. Oh. I know I've seen that movie. Just can't think uh, of much Sherlock. All right. Who do you find? Who Who would you in the club you sit there going, I want him to come here. <laughs> I don't know. Who's the guy who plays Spark now? Oh, is that Quinto? Yeah, he's cute. <laughs> I was trying to picture some random Loki. <laughs> okay, well, uh, but I mean, it's just saying aggressive as in, you know, it doesn't necessarily have to be like, like, you know, you're going for that job. I'm going to yeah. get that job. I'm going to get that. I'm going to get, to get out of my way. Yeah. That kind of, that, that, that's aggressive. It looks kind of, kind of sexy. I think aggressive would be better if you straight on and then kind of more like there. Good. <laughs> All right. Dismissive or disgusted. Oh. That kind of looks the same as your uh, aggressive face. Okay. Hmm. Dismissive is like. seething anger. I got I'm chills. I'm never an angry person. So. I can tell. I can tell, but I got chills. <laughs> Alright, good. They're multiplying. Alright, this one you should know pretty well, because I'm sure most of the photographers you work with want this. Give me your sexy face. I'll believe it. 
My name is Matt Anderson. I am the owner of Matt Anderson Photography or M. Anderson Photography as I am on Facebook. I've been doing photography for about 10 years, but the seven years with actual real cameras and then for the last five years actually as a business. Um, I created the business officially in 2014 and uh, so it's kind of a side business right now. I'm, right now I'm in school finishing up my degree in criminal justice with a minor in emergency management. So why, uh, what got you interested in photography? Well when I first started uh, doing photography it was for a website that I ran uh, which no longer exists. Uh, I used to do anime DVD reviews and then uh, part of the job of that is to network with the anime companies that were releasing anime in the United States so I went to conventions and at conventions I'd take pictures of the cosplayers so that they'd have a chance to um, so we have a chance to show off what they could do, you know, because everyone loves cosplay photos. You know, cosplayers are cool, they're, they're awesome. Some of the costumes they can come up with are just absolutely amazing and, and you never think in a million years, oh, how anybody's going to pull it off, but they do. So, uh, I would take pictures of them and then the cosplayers would message me back and say, hey, these are really nice. Um, and then I took some pictures of a... Uh, rock band from Japan called Kamino and their manager really liked the pictures that I took and it was with a crappy point and shoot so um, I you know borrowed my wife's nicer camera and started taking pictures and and uh, had a couple of the cosplayers really liked my work so they asked me to do modeling shoots without, you know, not as cosplayers, but as models, which okay, I did. Not, not, not the pictures were awful and, compared to what I do now, uh, but they liked them, you know. Oh, no, I'm it was nice of them, one. but really they weren't that good. Because uh, I had no knowledge Ready? of photography. And, go. and okay. so no. I kind of okay. was, was in that's my that's own that's world, that's and not really learning the craft, learning about composition and about lighting. I was afraid of lighting and, um, and I did okay. I had raw talent but I had no way to refine it no, and had very little control over what I was creating. So, uh, oh, like a ballerina. For yeah. but I did a shoot, the camera broke, I buy a new one a couple, few months later and when I did and I started posting pictures, I had some mentors uh, models and photographers come to me and say, hey, you know, you got some talent, but you know, you're cutting off feet in your pictures, your faces are too dark because uh, the sun, you're giving them raccoon eyes, your angles, compositions, every single picture is right in the middle. Yeah. It's just, you know, the, every single thing that was wrong with the photos that they were pointing out. I fell into the trap like a lot of new photographers do, is they think that an interesting subject is all you need to make a good picture. That's not true at all. You need composition and lighting, and you need to be able to control that. You need to be able to have your images in focus, and pick what you focus on, and understand focal lengths, and the exposure triangle, and all this other stuff. So, to, thanks to those mentors, I actually got into, um, I actually started learning about how the camera used, uh, how to use the camera and stop being afraid of light so I started learning how to use light and um, you know found that I was doing even better and then you know I got hired as a photographer doing odd jobs here and there worked for John Casablanca's modeling studio for a while learned some things there and it was actually one of those mentors that helped me get the job so um, I really learned a lot from doing that. I'm just unfortunately school was just so overwhelming. I just didn't have the time to to do that and to go all the way out to Baltimore. That was just too much of a of a trip um, at the time because school was so intense. So then I did that and um, started my business in 2014. And uh, so here I am today. And uh, my right work now. is conceptual, like the 44 Marlene project that I'm working on today. Um, fashion or editorial style. I used to be a glamour guy, did a lot of glamour, 
and I'll still do glamour here and there because you know, there's nothing wrong with glamour, but uh, I really want to focus more on creating interesting and more artistic as well as express my own creativity in a way. Um, you know, when I was a kid I always dreamed I was going to be a comic book writer. Well, now I can kind of be a comic book writer, just not have to worry about not having any drawing ability. What is the project that you're working on about? Uh, it's called uh, 44 Marlene. Uh, it's actually .44 Marlene for 44 caliber. Uh, it's, um, it's a comic book, uh, or call it a photographic novel. It's going to be a one-shot, which means that it's only one issue. Um, and it's the story of a uh, bounty hunter in the future. I haven't quite decided if it's near future or way in the future. Uh, I have another project called AD2235 and this story could kind of fit in that universe, but I haven't decided yet. Um, and anyways, so she's a bounty hunter, and I know, right, female bounty hunter, like real original, right? Guys? And uh, part of the neat thing about her character is um, she's, she, her gun is not just your typical gun, she just doesn't shoot bullets. She can actually has customized bullets depending on the type of job. So she has like bullets that can capture spirits or, or um, tranquilize mutants or penetrate armor plating. Um, and she's usually able to predict up to about 85% certainty what kind of bullets she's going to use to be able to, to to do. But the very last one is always a kill bullet. So she tries to capture and then if she has absolutely no other recourse she will kill. So um, that's kind of what we're doing. And So what I'm doing is I take the pictures of the models. Right now, today, what I'm doing is I'm doing test shots. Uh, so any model that is interested, and I've had about five that have been interested so far. Um, they, you know, they've applied. I'm hoping to get a couple more. I'm doing this from it's January now, so I'll be doing this all the way out through till uh, March, possibly April. It just depends on what's going on. Um, and then, so I bring in each of the models, I do a uh, set number of shots, and then I go through and I look, and I look for physicality, I look for emotion, okay, now you know, can they give me different looks on their face, you know, on, it's, it's just the same face over and over and over, and over again. Because um, even in comic book this, okay. or photographic okay. novels, I'm calling this, you still need to be able to get the range of facial expressions. Um, and, you know, just how well it translates. There's a lot of editing involved. I have a very special technique that I have to do to, to get the photos the way that I want them to look. And then once I've done all the tests and I've compared them all, then I'll make my decision and then there'll be a second shoot where I get all the, the footage, for lack of a better term, that I need. So it's all the images. And it's going to be done in front of probably a white backdrops um, or maybe a black, I haven't decided, uh, so that I can get all the, uh, you know, the pictures, the action pictures, the, the, the jumps and the kicks and all that stuff, and then um, compose, composite that with images from, um, you know, robots or mutants or whatever, you know, the, what's in the story. Um, and then once I've done all that and finished the process, uh, the goal is to get it done by November of this year. Uh, this is not going to be just a drop it and, and go. I mean, there's a lot of work that's involved in it, you know, not only just writing the story, um, but coming up with the right images and, and um, doing that. And then if for some reason I need reshoots because there's something, you know, the story changed a little bit or there's a look or an action that a person did that I really liked that I needed to do. Uh, so I need a little bit of lead time for that. And then um, once it's done, it's going to be put together. I'm going to publish it, self-publish. Um, you know, I will then sell it and hopefully there will be enough interest in it because um, I'm going to be posting teaser images from the shoot all, all during the next year.
Do something with that hand back there. Now put the hand on the hammer. On the what? The hammer. The little tabby thingy at the back of the gun. This thing? Yeah, put the, put the hand like here. <laughs> Sorry. This is the hammer. Okay. Okay. Well, you hold that, okay? Actually, it's down, but it's relaxed. Okay. No one in trigger just like that. I forgot. <laughs> there you go. And it kind of gave me the ah, what the hell attitude. Okay. Now really exaggerate the, the the hit. So pop the hip out. Yeah, that's it. And then kind of. Give me a little pinup, just a slight hint of pinup on the face. What does that mean? <laughs> a little more. Ah, a little more. Not kissy face, but okay. You're good, you're good, you're good. Angelina Jolie, think Angelina Jolie. Alright, excellent, alright. So next. All right, so now we're going to do the same thing again. So now it's two hands. Okay. So, let me get that. So now for these, I want... Okay. okay. So you're going to do one, two, one, two, one, two, then one, two, one, two, one, two, and then um, while you're doing the straight out, I'll do a couple of, of closes, okay? Step backwards, step this way a little bit. There you go. That's it, good. I'm looking focused. Good. Turn the gun a little bit more towards me. Keep the arms straight. 
right now. Turn her a little. I know. Turn her a little on the shoulder. <laughs> all right, all right. We'll do this quick. All right. <laughs> now look at me. Good. Okay. Relax. Okay. So now up. That way. Okay, straight on. Should I do my hair? Is that too distracting? Yeah, why don't you just yeah, put it behind you? Okay. Put your hair completely behind you. Okay? And then what I want you to do is I want you to hold it instead of leaning up against you like you did last time, hold it out. Okay? And actually have this hand here like you're running. Okay, so actually have your stance kind of like you're running. There you go, that's it. 